And now the main event of the evening. Five rounds for the MFC World Light Heavyweight title. It's the number one contender, Roger the Hulk Holland, against the champion, Victor the Matrix, Valimaki. MFC 13, Lucky 13 is the most explosive fight card I've ever put together. Victor Valimaki, Roger Hollett will be up to the height. On paper, it's unbelievable. Victor Valimaki, Roger Hollett, that's it. I mean, they're the best 205 pounders in the country by far. There's not even a third place to those two guys. This is the fight that everybody's been talking about. These are the two guys that everyone has wanted to see in the ring for a year now. You got one guy that's just far superior, more experienced and skilled technically, and you have a guy that has pure aggression, heart, and power. When you mix those two together, you're gonna have a great fight. You, you just have two guys that, you know, one's been in the UFC, one is like on the cusp of going to the UFC and, and being very dangerous in the UFC. They're gonna bang heads, they're gonna throw fists, they're gonna throw kicks, they're gonna go after submissions. This is the Canadian Mixed Martial Arts Fight of the Year. I have to win this fight. I mean, if I lose this fight, it's a, it's a really long climb back up the ladder to, to go back to UFC. If I win this fight, it's a nice short trip. You know, number one 205 in Canada. The title's right up there alongside it, but you know, the, to be the best in your country is a big deal to me, you know? He thinks he's gonna go walk through me like he's walked through his other opponents, and that's not gonna happen. He's the Mike Ty early Mike Tyson of mixed martial arts. Roger Holt's a tough guy. I mean, you don't get 6-0 and o by being a pushover. He hits like a truck, so I don't want to go test my chin, but uh, no one's ever seen what he can do. The only question I have is, is he as good as we all think he is? You know, he's he hasn't fought the toughest guys out there, you know, and uh, a guy like Victor Valimaki has a tons of experience. Like he's been in the MFC ring for a total of 45 seconds, right? You know, Roger has, Hollick doesn't have anything to look back upon, you know, to, to get that experience and say, hey, wait a second, I'm in trouble here, but it's okay, I'll make my way out of it. Well, everybody that said I'm not a big deal ended up face down on the mat, so. I'm telling you right now, if Roger Hollett catches Victor Valimaki on the chin, he's going to sleep. But can he catch him? That's the thing. If Victor makes a mistake in front of me, I will capitalize on it. It's guaranteed. He's going to put the pressure on Victor Valimaki early, and he's going to look for a knockout probably inside the first minute, minute and a half. I have a strange suspicion you're going to see a different Victor Valimaki. He knows how to fight this fight. Uh, he's going to take it longer. Um, he's not going to be in any rush. He's going to stretch the fight out. And I think that's what's going to make all the difference. I'm going to put the pressure on him, take him out of the deep, in the deep end and, and see if he can hang. I prefer to see a three, four round fight, you know. But with two big guys like this in a ring, I just don't see that going that long. Either or, whoever wins the fight. Basically what it boils down to is, you know, who shows up and who has the most determination to, uh, to walk away with that belt. You know, I'm not giving up the belt anytime soon, especially in my hometown. Somebody's going to the hospital. Let's go to the tail of the tape. Fighting out of Halifax, Nova Scotia, 28 years old, 5 foot 10, 204 pounds, Roger the Hulk Hollett. And his opponent, the champion, light heavyweight holder, Victor the Matrix Valimaki, 25 years old, 6 feet tall, 205 pounds, and Scott Victor has a 5 inch reach advantage. And here he comes the number one contender for the MFC World Light Heavyweight Championship, Roger the Hulk Hollett. And Jason, this guy is all about knockout power. Knockout power, he's devastatingly physical, but you know what's interesting? Hollett's just excited about the opportunity, as he says, to challenge himself against a better opponent. You don't want to knock down the guys he's fought, but none of them are in the caliber of Victor Valimaki. And Hollett himself is excited about the opportunity, win or lose, to see where he stands with one of the greats in MFC. You know, Jason, this is the fight that everyone has been talking about. As soon as Roger Hollett stepped onto the MFC scene, he made an amazing splash by knocking out Mike Maurer. Followed that up with another very quick knockout victory, and the two guys talked in the ring after that fight and said, you know what? It's you and me and the title, let's do it. Well, the thing about Hollett is, you don't know how good he can be because he's been so devastatingly good. 36 seconds over Maurer, 15 seconds over Beaver. No one knows, can Hollett take a shot? Because he's been so dominant. Can he go up against an experienced fighter like Victor Valimaki? But at the same time, Valimaki, he's gotta be aware of Hollett's punching power. You can't tell me that's not in the back of his mind somewhat. Interesting to note, 
when I spoke with Roger Holland. He feels Valimaki's chin is somewhat suspect. Is that a little bit of a mental game? Or Jay, do you see that being a part that maybe Valimaki has a slight suspect jaw? Well, I think the thing about Victor is, is Victor's a very good ground fighter, but he chooses to get caught up in these stand-up battles. I don't think he's gonna wanna do that tonight against Roger Holland. Guys, we've talked about it all night. For Victor Valimaki, a big edge in experience. 13 professional MMA fights, Jason, two-time UFC fighter, submission skills and wrestling. How much does it boil down to experience versus, I wouldn't want to see a relative newcomer, but a guy who hasn't been to the places that Victor Valimaki's been? Well, I mean, experience plays such a huge part in it, but I think here tonight, it's who wants to walk away with this belt the most, and that's what we're going to see here right now. Valimaki making his way to the ring now, looking extremely focused. Well, you know, Victor looks very determined, and Victor has the skills to walk away with his belt here tonight. So uh, let's hope that he that he puts that grit and determination into work. Playing contest is our main event. It's scheduled for five rounds, and it is for the MFC World Light. Heavyweight Championship. Your referee for this bout, Mr. Vern Gorman. First, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 204.6 pounds, representing Team Titan with a professional record of a perfect six wins, zero losses, from Halifax, Nova Scotia, the number one contender for the MFC World Light Heavyweight Championship, Roger the Hulk And his opponent, weighing in at 205.4 pounds, representing Pro Camp Sports Management, a two-time UFC competitor, and the reigning, the defending MFC World Light Heavyweight Champion. From the city of champions, Edmonton, Alberta, Victor the Matrix Valimaki. Boys, what an atmosphere in here tonight at the sold out River Cree Resort and Casino jam-packed for the World Light Heavyweight Championship. Man, you can just feel the electricity in the air. I want this thing to go now. I'm pumped. I want to get in there. I want to see what happens. Well, here we go, Jay. And now the main event of the evening. It's the number one contender, Roger the Hulk Hollett, against the champion, Victor the Matrix, Valimaki. Sign of respect, and here we go with the World Light Heavyweight Championship on the line. Right away, you know, Victor's taking the center of the ring. Roger looks very relaxed. Very familiar pose from Roger Hollett. Straight ahead and stalking. Very different style. He's a lot more aggressive in his last few fights, showing that he, I think, respects the ability of the champion. Man, Roger Hollett just carries his hands so low. I know it works for him, but he just carries his hands so low. And Jason, you know, Victor Valimaki has been working on his stand-up profusely. He's not, and look at that, there's Big a sign right. of it. Big, Big right, right hand by Victor. Here we go, but Victor's backing off into the corner. These two Victor Victor goes for the, walk up. Victor goes for the shot, and, and Roger throws his hips down and stuffs the shot. 
You see what the Victor's got to do here, he's got to drop his hips down and try to get down to, to Roger's legs. You see the expector of Alamaki, experience of Alamaki right away. Hall it went for the knee, Alamaki had the elbow to counter it right away. I think that's the one factor as this fight goes on, we're going to see more of, and we'll see how Hall it responds to it. Well, Roger looks very relaxed in this position, you know. Vic's the guy working hard right now, trying to get down. Victor Valimaki, definitely a good job so far avoiding that early thunder from Roger Hall. Yeah, something we haven't seen from Roger before, some real hard leg kicks here. Those are gonna take their toll on Victor later in the round. Already a little mark under the right eye of Victor Valimaki. Victor's looking to land that big right, right hand. Roger's looking very relaxed. Roger's taking the center of the ring. There, yeah, big high kick from, oh, I think he's hurt. A great combination there by Roger. He threw a left hook, a right hand, and then a knee to the body. A Rip. definite array coming out of weaponry from Roger Hollett. Things we haven't seen from him before. Yeah, you know, Roger's definitely shown us some other tools he has here. Nice kick, drops Victor. Big trouble here. Valimaki hurt by that high kick, and he tapped It's out. all over. We have a new champion. Roger Hollett, our new champion. Roger, the Hulk Hollett, wins it. It is the new... MFC, light heavyweight champion of the world. Devastating blows to the back of the head on Valimaki. You mentioned it earlier, Jay. You thought he was hurt a little bit earlier on. And a Hollick, just like a cougar pouncing on him, sensing that Valimaki was hurt. And a Hollick, this guy's devastating. Absolutely. We've seen, you know, we've seen Rogers, you know, just not, one, not a one trick pony here tonight. He doesn't, just doesn't have power in his hands. He's got a well rounded game here. He hurt Victor with that kick, that high kick. Victor went down, and immediately Roger transitioned to his back and started landing hard, hard hammer fist to the side of Victor's head. I can hear those all the way over here. You mentioned the style of Roger the Hall call it. His hands are down. It seems like it's hard to penetrate because he looks at you. He motion. He doesn't have much movement whatsoever. It's very unorthodox, but it really seems to work for him. Well, I tell you what, it works for him. He carries his hands really low, but he moves his head really well, and he sees the punches coming at him, and he gets out of range before his opponent has a chance to land a, a, a blow on him. We see Victor's uh, right eye still not being able to open up. That was obviously a big shot, but it's amazing. These two have a lot of respect for one another. Surprised at how quick Valimaki tapped out there. Well, Victor's an experienced veteran, and uh, you know he's been in a lot of tough fights, so. Obviously, something was going on in there that, that we didn't see or we couldn't feel out here on the side of the ring. And to the neck, that could really jar a guy's senses. Well, those shots were actually to the side of the head. Those are hammer fists to the side of the head. Shots to the back of the head and the neck are illegal shots. And the referee was standing right over Victor and Roger, and he was, he was keeping a pretty close eye on those shots, and those are definitely to the side of the head. Roger Hollett, is he now for real after uh, getting rid of a guy like Valimaki so quick? Well, who could, who could deny Roger Hollis for real now? He comes in here and absolutely destroys Victor Valimaki, a very experienced fighter, the champion, ex-UFC fighter. I mean, who could deny that Roger's a After Victor Valimaki taps out due to strikes, the winner of this match and new MFC Roger Hollett and champion. That sounds pretty good. Sounds good to me. Roger, you came out with your usual style of going after your prey, but you were a little bit more patient this time. Was that part of the game plan? Well, yeah, you know, Victor's an awesome fighter. He's the champ. He was the champ for a reason. So, you know, I had to be careful. And I took my time and, you know, eventually I got my shots in. Talk about the end of the fight from your perspective. Uh, I knew I heard him with the hook, so he went down. And just, you know, just a couple hammer fists, and that's it. Taking that belt home to the Maritimes, that's uh, what you came here to do. And ladies and gentlemen, your winner and new MFC light heavyweight champion, Roger the Hulk Hollett. Well, there you have it, folks. A new champion crowned tonight, and Roger the Hulk Hollett.